Hey yo, what's going on? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series. The new low stim pre-workout has just launched. Link in the description and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. Alright, so today we have back and biceps. Biceps will be secondary mover, meaning, for instance, if we're doing a row, the biceps won't be the main muscle that's pulling you up and down. It's gonna be more so your lats, your traps, and a couple other muscles in your back. Stabilization, everything, all of that. Uh, so, when we jump into the actual exercises, before we do that, we always show you a couple of the muscles that are being worked. It's something for you to just visualize and see, okay, this is exactly what I'm building in this movement. Can you build muscle with bodyweight training? Absolutely, just nutrition. It comes down to it. Sleep. Are you drinking enough? Are you eating enough? That's really what it's about. Caloric surplus. Do you want to build muscle and get bigger? Then do so. All right, now before we jump in, I want to give you a few tips you could be following for not only this workout and future workouts. So let's get started. All right, quick tip number one moving more throughout the day may assist your metabolism. I generally like to walk 10,000 steps outside. Number two, if you are looking to get lean, then you will want to be in a caloric deficit. Stop worrying so much about the specific diets like keto, intermittent fasting, and everything in between, and just simplify. Number three, the low stim pre-workout from Create You launches this morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link is in the description. Number four, my greatest failure in life came when my ego was the biggest. The second I learned to drop it was the day I learned more, built in an even better physique, and became more healthy. Number five, if you're trying to lose or gain weight, I suggest weighing yourself every day and then looking at the scale on the same day each week to evaluate. Number six, and last, your neck and head play a huge component in your training. You don't want to move it around during movements. If anything, flexion or extension can cause much more harm than good and may result in injury. All right, first set, we have as many reps as possible, bicep headbangers. The reason why we're starting off with such an exercise is I really just want to fatigue you as much as I can, to be honest, and have just a little bit more fun with this workout. So. At least, I'm, at least I'm honest, right? So I'm gonna be in a supinated grip, okay? Now with this position, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing as much as you can with your pinky and also your thumb, all right? This is a lot of bicep recruitment. Now, you wanna also make sure that you're pushing your elbows together, you see that? So it's like this, pushing elbows together. From here, in this position here, and I'm using a bench obviously, you don't have to use any assisted bench or, or anything like that. Um, but from this position, you're gonna squeeze as much as possible, and you're gonna come out, and you don't have to go too fast, but squeeze your abs in. Make sure you're in more of a straight line as you're coming back and forth. Now, you wanna try and keep your chin above the bar as much as possible, or just go ahead to your nose here, and that will be your first set. All right, so we're starting off with a lat pullover, and then we're gonna go under the table into an inverted row pause. So with these lat pullovers, it's just like if you were in a gym, okay, and you're here, and you're coming in an extension of your hips, and you're allowing your, your shoulder joint to come into extension and you're squeezing as much as possible in that lat area, okay? So, you wanna find something that's about hip length or a little bit lower. I'm a little lower on this one and actually I'll just do it right here with my JBL speaker baby. Love this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna be in this position here. All right, now watch my feet first. Let's watch the feet. All right, so the feet are just gonna be coming here, walking all the way up, into a full position of complete extension of those shoulders and the hips, all right? So we're gonna keep our chin nice and tucked, all right? We're gonna be bent over as so, and we're gonna squeeze as much as possible, pull from the top of the counter in towards a retract and depression of your scaps here, all right? Squeeze it as you're coming up as much as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top as well. Boom, and then reset. Your lats are gonna be on fire. Then you're gonna go straight into a pronated, pronated position just means overhand position here, as so, um, inverted row, pause. We've already done this exercise many different times. Retract to press your scaps, make sure you're squeezing your abs and it's not uh, too much extension of that low back. Squeezing your glutes, you're gonna come up and pause for 20 seconds. Boom, that's your superset. So the reason why 
We have two paper towels is for the lap pull downs that we're gonna be doing on the floor. But first, we have the, fl uh, the floor drags. And you guys have done this with me before, all right? So we're gonna be fully straight out, squeezing in our glutes, squeezing in everything, our, our abs. Try and create as much of a neutral spine as you can. It's gonna be kind of difficult because your chest is usually a little bit thicker than your lower back and everything down there. All right, so from this position, we're gonna bring our, our arms out slightly here, okay? And we're gonna make sure that we're keeping our elbows into the ground, pushing them as much as into the ground as possible. And we're gonna pull up, squeezing, 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 while we're also squeezing our abs and our rib cage into the sky, essentially, right? So it's like pushing away like that. You see that difference? It's not here, it's here, okay? Coming back down, boom. And you can make it a lot more time under tension if you would like. Now the lat pull downs, a little bit similar, but what you're gonna be doing is actually pulling down towards yourself, keeping your body aligned and not moving, okay? So, you're gonna tuck in your chin and you're gonna grab your fingertips into the ground. Now, if you want to make it even harder, notice how I put two fingers on the actual ground itself, right? This is gonna actually make it a little bit more difficult and give you some traction to be able to push into the ground, push, push, push into the ground and pull at the same time. So, push and pull at the same time, okay? So, it's gonna be here, pushing and pulling as much as possible, squeezing, down and reset. I'm telling you, if you do these correctly, you're definitely gonna feel it and that's your superset. So we have a door hinge neutral row. Now you can do this a couple different ways. Um, you can come here, sorry. Hand will also always try and be right in front of that shoulder right here, about chin to nipple level right in between there, okay? So here, you can come here and walk your way in and squeeze as much as possible in a retracted and a depressed position. Remember, retract and depress. So it's like a big chest here. All right, keeping this, this shoulder closed. A lot of us will want to do this. We don't want that. Keep everything closed, almost like you're squeezing in a pec fly. All right, so you can do it that way, or you can also put your foot up against this and squeeze as much as possible as you're coming up and creating resistance with the wall and coming right Back down, jeez, I'm out of breath. Then we're gonna be doing push away from the ground. Jeez, bulk, it's the bulk life, man. We're gonna do push aways from the ground. We have the wood floor here, okay? Now, with these push aways, we've done this so many times already in this 30 for 30 series. We're gonna come out at about 30 degrees. We're gonna squeeze as much as possible, engage our back. But while we're engaging our back, we're gonna engage our abs. So very, very important. Squeeze, 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 okay? From this position, squeezing your glutes as well, come up and just hold, all right? Now, if you wanna come a little bit wider, you could try and do that. It's not gonna be as engaging as, although, closer to your body. So you could squeeze and try different positionings if you want, that's your superset. All right, so we have wide grip pull up as many reps as possible. Now, you're gonna stop when you feel like your technique is completely out of whack. So if you're only going up to, let's say, the top of your head, and then before you were going up to your nose, that's when you kind of want to stop. It's okay to stop at that point. Also, if you feel like one shoulder blade is pulling more than the other, you don't want that. <laughs> shoulder blade's pulling more, is moving differently than the other. That's what I meant. Okay, so our hand's gonna be out wide. Now, with this positioning, I don't want your thumb to be over. Utilize that thumb for a lot of your strength. Guys, your thumb, there's so many muscles attached to your thumb, why not use it? So utilize it, squeeze as much as possible here and your pinky, and you're gonna be coming all the way down and all the way up, all right? Make sure you're not allowing you, yourself to hang a lot here at this position. We wanna retract and depress and start in this position, all right? And that's your set. All right, it's time to officially burn out and finish this workout strong. As many reps as possible, chin-ups. Let's just make sure, it's just like the best of headbangers, that we're using our pinky, squeezing it as much as possible, and our thumb, and we're squeezing our elbows together as much as we can, and we're coming up to about our our nose height, okay? So you're gonna be here, coming all the way up to your nose height, squeezing as much as possible, all right? Now, you don't want to retract the pressure straps and lower and bring extension into your lower back. We don't want that. Squeeze everything in, boom, here, and retract and depress those scaps and you'll be good to go. All right guys, so there you have it. That is your workout for the day, 30 for 30 series. I'm absolutely loving it. Remember, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're coming back every single morning and we're almost actually done with the series. And now I'm gonna start vlogging again and showing you kind of my prep, my bodybuilding prep and everything there. And then also what's going on with Create You and the businesses that I'm a, I'm a part of and, and all that, that 
has happened over the past, I don't know, six months to a year. Give me some feedback if you would like though. Follow me on Instagram right here, at the B Myers. DM me some hateful things. I absolutely love those type of messages. And then also comment down below about, you know, like make fun of me, like how I have a peanut head or, um, you know, just like how I used to have buck teeth when I was younger. Like, yeah, you know, just like really rip me apart. I really, <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, stay tuned in for this 30 for 30 series. I'm dead. You want to pick up the new crate, you pre-workout, link is in the description. See you soon. Peace.